In this tutorial, we'll look at how to create a return authorization, otherwise known as an RMA, to manage the order return process. An RMA can be created by opening the shipped order and selecting Manage RMA. On this page, a grid will display the ordered items with the quantities ordered. For each product being returned, enter a quantity to return. Then, select a reason for the return from the dropdown. You can enter a reason description as well. Select the product and click Continue. The RMA will be created and you can email the return instructions to the customer by clicking on this link. The email will default to the email template assigned to RMAs. To assign an email template, open the company settings and scroll down to the email settings in the toolbox. Select the email template assignment page. Now, scroll down to the RMA created row and select a default email template. Email settings are discussed in greater detail in another video tutorial. You can select a different email template from this dropdown or simply write your own message. Additional attachments can be added as well. Enable this client setting to automatically generate an email and send it to the customer when the RMA is created. When auto-generating the email, you need to make sure that a default email template has been assigned to RMAs. If you want, you can also email the customer a return label. On the RMA page, select Manage Return Shipping Labels from the Action menu. Click Create New Label. The shipping weight defaults to the order details. Select a shipping carrier and service. You can also set a default carrier and shipping method for returns. Open the Return Settings page in the Company Settings toolbox. Select a default carrier and service from these dropdowns and click Update. Now click Generate Label. The label will be created with the tracking number. You can either download the label to print or click here to attach it to an email to the customer. After reviewing the email, click the Send Email button. The RMA will be linked to the order, both on the RMA page and on the Order Detail page. When the package arrives at the warehouse, the receiving department will notify the returns department by scanning the package in through ReceiveBridge. It's important to note that while the RMA will now have a received status on it, that does not mean that the inventory has been updated. The received status only indicates that the item has been received by the warehouse through ReceiveBridge and can now be processed. This allows the returns department to filter RMEs by items that have been received in the warehouse. Click on the Manage RMA tab in the Inventory menu. You can do a general search for RMEs that are received and have an open status, or filter the search by RMA number. After examining the item, select it and choose the appropriate resolution from the action menu. If there are multiple items in the return, each one can have a different resolution. If you choose to replace the item, for example, select the resolution to replace. On the following page, enter a note why you are replacing the item and click Save. A replacement order with all the order information, including the address and item, will be created. Click on this link to access and manage the replacement order. The replacement order's price will default to a full discount. If you choose to refund the order, select that resolution and follow through by entering a refund amount and note. Save the refund information and click on this link to process the refund. If you created a replacement order and then changed your mind and decided to refund, an option will appear to allow you to void the replacement order from the Refund Resolution page. On the Exchange Resolution page, you can enter an exchange SKU with which to exchange the returned item. A replacement order with the new item will be created. To receive the returned item, select Receive Return on the Action menu. Enter the quantity being received and select a receiving warehouse. Click Save and the inventory will update in the receiving warehouse. The inventory movement will be noted as an order return on the inventory movement history. When you have finished with the RMA, set the status on the RMA to Closed. 
You can also enable this client setting to automatically close RMAs when the resolution has been updated. For more information on managing RMAs, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.